Hi right, folks, welcome back to the bench where we're going to roll right on through from the frame detail strip and on into detail strip of the slide. I'm going to do a detailed disassembly in this video and then a second video is going to be the reassembly. Uh, for this, I'm not going to be taking the sights off. I've got these fitted really perfectly and there's just no point in me removing them from, from how they are. Uh, plenty of videos out there on getting sights on and off if you need to see that. We're going to be focused on the operating internals here and how they come apart and work. They are fairly simple. There's not much going on here, really. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You got your firing pin. You have a little uh, firing pin retaining plate in the back. Here you have your firing pin block safety right there. And of course, you have your extractor, a spring tensioning it. And a roll pin holding it in and that's about all there is to it this firing pin block mechanism is not complicated but it has really really small parts so when we get to that part if you you know maybe don't have the steadiest hands or don't have you know the best eyesight don't have your glasses handy it might be best to leave that together uh, everything else though is fairly straightforward you want to make sure that you have an appropriately sized roll pin punch. This one is a 5 64ths inch roll pin punch. I'm using this mirror finished end pin punch here, 3 32nd inch uh, that we used in the frame disassembly video. And I'm just using that to apply some pressure to the firing pin while we're getting that retaining plate off. It doesn't have to be this exact size, just something that will fit on that. Uh, I've got a paper clip here just to help me flip some springs out so I can show them to you. Uh, you might not need them. Sometimes they come out on their own. And some tweezers that, again, are probably not necessary, but just while I'm trying to show you things, it might help me keep my hands out of the way a little bit. And just a little bit of light oil for when we reinstall that roll pin, try to help it in. I've got a piece of... Uh, uh, not a piece of tape, a roll of tape here that I'm just going to use as kind of a block when we're tapping through the extractor pin. And I find that it's helpful to have this grip thing, a little wood clamp sort of deal with these rubber feet on it. I don't think you really need this, uh, but especially making the video, it'll just help me keep my hands out of the way a little bit more and make things go smoothly so you can see the work instead of seeing me fumbling around. Helpful little, little aid there though. So consider getting something like that if if you find it difficult without it, I guess. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna take this punch here and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push in on the back of the firing pin, but you'll see that it doesn't go very far. It won't go far enough to lose its retaining plate there. What you have to do is you have to basically disengage the firing pin safety in order to get that in far enough. It's trying to block it right now because it detects that the trigger isn't pulled. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. We'll push back. I can just use my thumb here. Works fine. And you're just pressing against this little lever here. Just this guy right there. I don't know if you can, can I get just this little lever right here. It doesn't take much force, just with your thumb, put that on there, and then you should be able to push this pin in to get the firing pin down, and you'll start moving that retaining plate downward. And you want to keep, you'll see how I'm doing this, where I'm, I've got basically my middle finger and index finger and thumb controlling the punch. And I've got my other two fingers, my ring finger and my pinky finger, back here behind the slide, just to make sure that that uh, firing pin doesn't fly out on me. Just in case I get a little carried away. I'm going to get that retaining plate off about maybe halfway or so. You can see there I've got, got a little ways off. Now I'm going to take my punch, set it to the side, and just with my hand block behind here so we don't lose our firing pin. I'm going to grab that retaining plate 
and just pull it out. Set it to the side there. Now, if I hit firing pin uh, block safety again, it releases the firing pin out. You can see it just comes right out the back of the slide. You have a spring on here. It is not directional. You can turn it around if you want to. Doesn't matter. I find that it fits a little bit tighter one way, not incredibly so, just the way it happens to be made. So I'm gonna keep it like that. You'll see that you have one side of this that is flat. You have a little notch here that is interfacing with the firing pin safety, firing pin block safety. So these um, flat surfaces here go towards the side of the slide that has that firing pin block and the extractor. So that would be, if you were in the firing position, it would be the right side. Uh, since we're upside down, it's more of the left side. So just goes to the extractor side though. Pretty simple, nothing else to see here. Nothing else to see on the little firing pin retaining plate, very much 1911-like in that regard. Uh, pretty simple, good design. Now, coming up here, you have the firing pin safety assembly, and it will just fall out like that. Now, this is the part where if you don't have steady hands and you're not prepared to, to deal with some really small parts, this is where you'd probably want to stop and just leave this all together. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take it apart, but it is a lot of really, really small pieces there. So be warned if you're not prepared for that. Just, just leave this together. But if you want to take this apart, it's not too difficult. It's just really small. Uh, so I'm gonna take a, what can I take here? I'm just gonna take this roll pin punch, I guess, that I'm gonna use in the future. And I'm just going to, there's a pin that's in here. It's a headed pin, so it only comes out one way. So you see you've got the big head on it here, and then you have what is, I guess, the, the shaft of it sitting here within this lever that is your, your firing pin block. So all you need to do is you need to make sure that you're keeping your finger on this side of it, because what you have is down in this hole, are we? in focus down in this hole that's underneath there you have a little plunger and a little spring we want to make sure we don't lose those they're very small parts push that pin the little lever comes out there he is and you see that we have this plunger and spring underneath there. Now, this pin kind of retains a little bit. It actually doesn't really like to come out all the way, which is convenient. If you want to, uh, you can press it through. So I'll go ahead and take this punch here since I just have it handy and pop it out the rest of the way. So there it is, just a very small little headed pin. I thought it was a rivet initially, but it's not a rivet. And so that's how that all comes down is into those individual components. If you don't want to mess with that, I would just leave it as the assembly. But if you need to get in there for whatever reason, there it is. And we'll get to putting that back together in the subsequent video where we do our reassembly. Only thing you have left here really is your uh, extractor. It's pretty simple, very routine as far as that goes. We will take our, I say 564s, yep, 564s roll pin punch, 
and I'm just going to line it up. I like to go from the top here because you have a sort of recess where we can get in there and not have to worry about skidding off. And we're just gonna give it some, some taps. You see, I'm just being gentle, letting it go at its own pace. It's starting to get easier now. And we're all the way through. You can see that my roll pin punch is sticking through in here, and the little roll pin has fallen out the bottom. Set that aside for just a moment. Now I'm just going to apply some pressure on the back of the extractor to try to free up my punch. Came out nice and easy. And the extractor will move forward and kind of just roll out from the back. You can't pull it straight out the side because the bottom of the extractor has this little, uh, little extra bit on the bottom to give you better engagement on the case. And so you kind of have to pull it out from the back and then forward and out. There's a spring in here. It just falls out when you turn it over, so make sure you don't lose it. And that is disassembly of a P210 American slide. Uh, standard version with standard sides. So you might have something else with the target model in its sight system, but pretty simple design just some really small components. So check back for the next video where we'll put it all back together. Thanks for watching folks.